Welcome to White Picket Fencing Back Alley Battles. I'm Maddox Campbell. We've got an amazing week for you this week. I know I always say it's a good week, but this is an especially good week on White Picket Fencing. Let's see who showed up in the exhibition tournament. All right, guys, we got Wild Arm, we got Cloak and Stabber, we got Mandroid, we got Candy Whip, we got Dynamo, and we got the Wild Ferret coming back. All right, first up, we got Wild Arm versus Cloak and Stabber, two of our veteran fighters getting a good spar on. Let's see if someone commits. Oh, there we go. We get in. Looks like Wild Arm is a little wild there. Cloak and Stabber getting the point. Here we have Mandroid versus Candy Whip. Candy Whip, a new fighter. Mandroid getting in there. Quick hit to the chest. Point scored by Mandroid. Here we have Dynamo versus Mandroid. Both of them really going some good spar up top. Solid hit by Dynamo to Mandroid right there. All right, we're trying a little, something a little adventurous with the camera. Dynamo versus Wild Ferret. Some heated sparring. Point snuck in there by Wild Ferret. All right, here we got Dynamo versus Mandroid. Mandroid going in with a jump, and it seems like it is a successful hit from Mandroid. Point going to Mandroid on that one. Up next, we got Wild Arm versus Mandroid. Wild Arm coming in with a jump, and looks like. His hit is the better of the two. Point going to Wild Arm on that one. After a little judge inspection. All right, next we got Candy Whip trying to do a little charge on Cloak and Stabber. Cloak and Stabber disarms her. Point going to him. Uh, looks like she's still trying to get her revenge. Not that it's worth anything. All right, after for the exhibition tournament. We let's see what who survived. Looks like we have three people. Wild Ferret definitely going into the next match, but we have a contestedness against Wild Armor and Mandroid. We're doing a special rules battle, doubles. Each fighter will pick a double. We'll have two fighters per side. First hit on either opponent earns the point for the team. Cloak and Sarah picked Wild Arm. Mandroid picked Dynamo. It gets hectic, but there, Wild Arm stabbed, got Dynamo. Point going to that team. All right, round two. Everyone's coming in a bit cautiously. Looks like Wild Arm makes a stab, but Dynamo fails. Mandroid sneaks in and gets Wild Arm. Point going to Mandroid's team. Let's look at round three. Everyone's coming in. Well, oh, looks like Wild Arm does a wild around the back attack. Gets a point on Dynamo. Point going to Wild Arm's team on that one. We have 2-1. All right, round four. Everyone comes in. Oh, jump attack by Wild Arm. Judge is still contesting it. Let's see what they're saying. Look it in. I think Mandroid's saying it, it was a slide, but his hit was successful. Point going to Mandroid on that one. All right, round, round five. Heated trades, both teams. Oh, Mandroid makes a a desperate attempt. Got, I think he went for Jason and then failed, and when they went for Cloak and Stabber, everyone's got a hit on everyone. Judge is going through to see which of the hits are good. Looks like the only good hit is Dynamo. Point going to Mandroid's team. That's victory for Mandroid and Dynamo. They will be going on to the headlining match, or at least Mandroid will be, with Wild Ferret. All right, let's see who we have in our headlining match. What are they? We have first up, we have Wild Ferret, Joanna Houghton. She already won last week. She's 5'6", 110 pounds, and she travels via bicycle. Versus Mandroid, two wins under his belt already. Maddox Campbell, 5'11", 180 pounds, and his only pet is his netbook. It's uh, an Asus. All right, let's get look at round one. Both of them being a little tentative. Not sure how to proceed. Preparing. Oh, and a thrust by Mandroid is successful on Wild Ferret. Point going to Mandroid in round one. Let's look at round two. Mandroid going with his samurai attack. Thrust 
by Wild Ferret. Some unusual and messy trades. Judge is calling it for slides. No good hits. No points. Round three. All of them once again being a little bit cautious. Oh! On the offensive from Mandroid, but it was failure. Wild Ferret snuck one in under the belt. Round four. Mandroid's coming pretty aggressive for him. Wild Ferret returns the attack. Nothing good though. Bad hits. No points either side. I think uh, Wild Ferret was under the neck. All right, round five. Neither of them ready to commit an offensive move yet. Everyone's waiting for this chance. Wild Ferret comes on the aggressive. And no, neither of them do any good hits. Slides on both accounts, no points awarded. Round six, we're still at 1-1. One, one. Wild Ferret coming in. Mandroid jumps, but his attack is off. Slides. Round seven. Mandroid's coming in pretty fast. Oh, and Wild Ferret comes in faster. Trying the spin attack. No accuracy with that. Slides. Wild Ferret fairly upset to be hit below the belt again. Round eight. And oh, that was a thrust by Mandroid straight to the chest. Good shot there. Round nine. No one's quite sure what to do there. Oh, and we have a thrust, but not a good hit. Slides on both accounts, no points. 2-1 for Mandroid still. Going into round 10. They get close. They both have thrust. Judge coming in to try to see if any of the points are good. Mandroid's hit is good. Victory, going to Mandroid. I hope you didn't miss me, because I have returned. All right, and that's it this week for White Picket Fencing Back Alley Battles. If you want to come and join us next time, find us on Facebook. Otherwise, thanks for watching.